so uh, in this video we are going to see if you have given one array so what is the minimum number of step by which you can if you start from here you could reach end of the array and each number represent how much maximum number of step you can take it so you have already uh, seen this kind of problems in the my previous video that was the jump game so i would recommend please visit this video a uh, jump game so better understanding but in the jump game we have to find out whether we could reach the end of not it was a problem but in this jump game second the problem is that you have to find out minimum number of jump by which you can read reach end of there you will reach end of here this is a sure but you have to find out what is the minimum number of uh, steps so if you see here if this is the two we can go from here to either here or here right so suppose you reach here this is the one step and the step you take to here because this is one so maximum you can go the one two step and from here you can reach the target so in this way it took the three step but if you change your way strategy you might be reach in the lesser number of steps so suppose if you take the one step here and then from here you can take the three steps right so one two three we can directly reach into the destination it is the in only step two so you have to find out what is the best strategy and what is the minimum number of steps by which we can reach there so there could be multiple solutions but the what solutions i find out this is the very uh, optimized solution so suppose if you have this array take the same array and you know this is the index right so these are the index of the array 0 1 2 3 4 what i will do if you see from 2 we can reach either here or here right this is the maximum you can do that and starting is you you don't have any options means you don't have anything to choose something because because you have the only one element in the first box so always it is the one window first is always one window but from here you have the two option right so immediate window next window and if you see you can come here or here right so this is the next window again i am repeating first is always the single window because you don't have the options and second window it start immediate after the first window so this is the first window so immediate you start from here and you have to go maximum how much you can go so from this window it is the next window is starting window but maximum you can go in index 2 right because this is a 2 so 0 plus 2 we can go up to here so this is the next window now from this window how much maximum you can go if you see again next window would be from here immediate 3 plus 1 4 so we can come up to here right so this is your next window so you have to first divide your complete array in number of windows and number of windows actually is the number of steps the minimum steps by which we can reach into the target so see so now if you see here from this window to this window one step and from this window to this window this is the two step but now how you will do through the code it's also very easy in the code what i have to do we have to if you see for this window this is the left this is the right for this window it this is the left this is the right but this is the single window so obviously both are the same left is also same and right is also same because this is the one element right so what you have to do when you start the code you will take one integer left is equal to 0 right is equal to 0 and how many steps you will take that is also 0 right now tell me one thing how we can end this code means once this r 
Okay, so if we start from L and R equal to zero, and if we keep changing, so this time L and R was zero. This time, if you see, this is the window, right? First, here L is equal to one, and R is equal to two. Here L is equal to three, R is equal to four, right? So we have to keep this execution till R less than your index. Right. So once you reach here, once your R is not touching the index, by that time we have to move. So we have to move when R less than this number. What is this number? If suppose this array name is the nums, so nums dot went minus one. Right. This is the this is the four, right? One, two, three, four, five. Five minus one, four. So this is my termination condition. Now what I have to do here? Think. So we have the actually internally the three sub array. If you treat, these are the three sub array. Each array start from the L. And go at the R. Each array start from L and go to the R. So, and you have to find out means each array, each array start from L and go to the R. And each window you have to find out the next and R. So, suppose for simplicity. If you are here in this window, what would be the next L and R? What would be the next window? So first and foremost, to find out the next L is very easy. It always next to the R. It's always next to the R, right? If you see here, you R was here. R plus one is equal to this L. R plus one is equal to this L. So this is always easy, right? But how you can check the R? Where R will we go? This is the tricky part here. So try to understand here. So we find out this L because it was the immediate after the right plus one. I got it. But how you got this number? This number. So we got the two plus zero. I put the R is equal to two. But because it was the one. So it was easy, but in this window, if you see, I have the two index plus element. So we have the three plus one four, and one plus three also. So you have to choose the maximum, right? So you have to take this value for the next R, okay? And in the same case, suppose if I would have the more element, this three one three plus one is equal to four, and four plus four is equal to eight. So for the next R, it would be the eight. Right. So how you find out the next R? So you have to in this sub array. This is the one sub array. Take the maximum value. Maximum value means after addition of the element n plus this index. Find out this value, and then define the next R. So how you will do that? So first you have to do. You take one. Int max means I am finding out the max. Find out the max for the each sub array, right? Or if you want, you can make it easy here. Max. But every time you have to initialize the zero because I have to find out the max for the each sub array. Then what I have to do? Not from here. From here. Because for the sub array we have to find out the max and check this time. Num i means num i is three plus i i is the index. So this is the four, and this is the three, right? Which is the maximum? So compare with the max, and keep into the max value, which is the max. Means if you use the math dot x. So in this sub array, 
एडिशन ऑफ द एलिमेंट इन द इंडेक्स विच इज द मैक्सिम कीप इन डू द मैक्स जस्ट दैट इंड सो फ्रॉम हेयर आई गॉट द मैक्स मैक्स मीन दिस मैक्स इज योर नेक्स्ट राइट सो नेक्स्ट राइट इज कल टू मैक्स एंड नेक्स्ट रेप्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस नेक्स्ट रेप्ट इज कल टू आर प्लस वन एंड यू कैन सी हियर Each sub array actually your answer, right? So when you come out from for loop, you increment the steps. That is the code, and you return the steps. That is the full code. Let me again check it from here. We will drive one, then we will go for the code. So in this case, if you see or take this one, it is the easy one. So you, what is the index here? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So starting time, what happened? R is equal to zero. R is equal to zero. Max is equal to zero, and the step is equal to zero. Okay. So first time, if you see R is equal to that, we start from zero. It will go to the zero, right? So this is the first point. This is the first window become. Now, and if you see the max, so what is the max here? Two plus zero is equal to two. This value go to the max, right? It will come here max. So max become two, and then l become r plus one, zero plus one, one, and r is equal to max. R is equal to max, and then step is equal to one. So step is equal to one. Right now the next sub array become the one and two from here to here. So This is the next sub array. If you see the max within this sub array, three plus one four, one plus two is equal to three. Obvious four is the max, so max become the four. R is equal to r plus one, two plus one three. R is equal to max, max is equal to four, and then step is equal to two. Next time three plus four here, r is equal to three. This is the four. Right. So this is the next window. Here four plus three is equal to seven. One plus four is equal to five, right? So then this is the max. So max is equal to seven. R is equal to r plus one. Four plus one five. And this r is equal to max. This is the seven. This time five plus seven. So this is the next window. And this step is equal to three. Right. That's why you got the answer. The step is equal to the three. Let us see in the code. We will see here. So what we discuss, we will take the left is equal to zero, right is equal to zero, and steps is equal to zero, and the max is equal to zero. Right. And then take the for loop, while loop, and the condition is that. Right should be less than the nums length minus one. Right, so this is the condition, and then we have to use the always max zero before going for the sub array, and this is our sub array. Right, that we start from left, it will go from to right. I plus plus. This is the sub array, and we have to find out the max of that sub array. Right, so how we find? So nums i plus i compared to previous max, and here left is equal to right plus one, right is equal to max, and step is equal to plus plus, and you have to return the steps. Let me check this code. So it should do work. Okay, so here we have to give the semicolon. So this is the semicolon, and here now it should work. It is working fine. Okay, and let me submit this code. If you submit the code, then it should also work fine. It's working fine. Two milliseconds. Ha, huh, and uh, very good uh, things are there, right? Thank you very much, and uh, see you in the next algorithm.